I uh, took this out of the CLR mild acid bath uh, to see how it was coming along. Uh, did hit it with a wire brush, and and it's doing. It's clean enough. Is what I is what I came down to. You can see. You can see details now that you couldn't see before. This uh, this relief cut right here. You got to get it in the right light. This head is is shaped so that it's much narrower at the sides than it is in the middle. There's a bow this way. There's a bow that's higher here than it is on the sides. And they they made axe heads with that shape so that when when it's deep into a cut there's less surface area um, along these cheeks that, that are that's touching the wood so that it'll come out it'll unstick easier is what I'm getting to so that's a pretty cool feature uh, you can see the weld line right here that's um, and that's with my broken ruler that's an inch and a half inch and a half of hardened steel on the um, that's left that's left to use or th uh, 30 38 millimeters 3 3 point 3 point 8 centimeters if I remember my metric scales this marks these marks right here this railroad track mark there and the other one later further down uh, those were put in uh, when I was 12 years old we had a big big apple tree had a trunk was uh, about 30 inches across that uh, needed to be needed to be dropped so we took a uh, took the, the chainsaw and made the initial cut then the then the cut started to close up so the closest wedge that we had was actually this axe so we took we took this axe and we pounded pounded it into the cut to keep it from closing up and then uh, when we were back in the chainsaw out of the cut we were pulling it to the one side and it took two it took two times fishtailing it so that was those marks were put in by a chainsaw I think it was McCullough so I'm not I'm not really gonna take those marks out because um, I know how they got there so I got the eye cleaned up I got a little bit of file work left to do um, on the inside of the eye and um, and then I'm gonna take the DA with some uh, with some 220 and I'll go over I'll go over the outside of this axe one more time smooth it down as best I can that's gonna um, that's gonna smooth over um, 
this this line right here that was brought out by the acid but that's no big deal and um, once it's once it's finished and ready um, and ready I'll uh, um, hit it with the with the bluing and then when it's all done we'll mix up some epoxy and put the handle on it so this is almost uh, about 12 hours of epoxy drying time and there's about an hour of work uh, before that so before before tomorrow night if I get to it I got some stuff outside I gotta do um, before the thunderstorms hit and um, as soon as I get a chance to spend about an hour or so on this then we'll uh, uh, we'll get this put on a handle how does that sound I gotta um, before I get that far I'll uh, I'll weigh this too I, I haven't weighed it yet with the uh, with the handle off of it just to just so that I can uh, have some trivial 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 information it's seven it's about seven and a quarter inches long and it's about three it's about three and an eighth wide at the um, at the pole end and across across the point it's four four and five eighths actually I well yeah four and five eighths is uh, um, Yeah, that's a pretty good measurement. I got these got these rulers at the state fair. Uh, uh, the they the division of criminal investigation was uh, um, they had a booth set up, so I got I got a couple of them. I just broke one, um, but I don't work for the Iowa division of criminal investigations, but. Uh, makes for a nifty little ruler they uh, um, they handed out little rulers like this uh, because they're the they're the right size to um, fill out your log book uh, for the um, fill out fill out to fill out your log book for uh, driving a big truck I've got another one that says Iowa uh, Division of Motor Vehicle Enforcement 2 so around here somewhere someplace they show up show up at the oddball as times alright we'll uh, shut this off